Hi Joe, welcome back. Uh, this is uh, the 11th uh, session, Monte Carlo inferencing. So we already discussed how to uh, do sampling using the inverse transform, also how to do it using rejection sampling. And now we're going to uh, visit some uh, really common and useful idea that is important sampling. The idea over here is how can you um, approximate some importance function that is defined as the expected value of of f, okay, your importance uh, or your weight, if you want, your importance function over here, that is the integral of f of x times uh, p of x dx. So you are interested in this particular type of um, of functions in which you want to draw probabilities, uh, sorry, samples, not only from the distribution probability, um, that is where the probability has more uh, weight or like the samples are highly likely to appear, but also you want to draw samples from this function over here, such that this function uh, evaluates those samples as with high importance, okay? And we do that by applying uh, something very similar to what we had before. So we, you want to do um, the expectation of f, and this is f of x, p of x, q of x, q of x, dx. And now, if we call this WS, or our important, important, importance weight, then what we will have here is an expectation with respect of Q of X, right? So this is, um, okay, sorry, the expectation with respect of Q of WS, X, f of x, right? And now, if we do Monte Carlo here, this is approximately uh, one over s of the summation of all these s samples of w s f of x s, right? Or our importance appro approximator. Okay, so. Now, the idea here is, unlike um, rejection sampling, for instance, in which we just discard some of those samples that we don't like, we will use all of them because we're going to weigh them, right? So I can just keep drawing samples, and if they are really bad, the weight is going to be really small, so it won't matter much at the end. Now, the question is, how do we select some proposal Q of X that works uh, really good, right? Now, to solve that issue, what we want to do is to minimize the variance of um, my weight times my function, right? My, of this particular thing in here. So we want to minimize this variance over here. We're interested in doing this variance with respect of Q of P of X, FX, QX. And if you remember, this is nothing else but expectation with respect of Q of the square over Q square of X. So this is the, the expectation of the square minus the square of the expectation, right? Q of PX uh, FX over QX respect, uh, sorry, square, right? And <clears throat> so in here, uh, first just notice that since this expectation is with respect of Q, when I just push this and, and represent it as, a, as an integral, this is the Q of X times P of X FX over Q of X DX, right? Now the Q cancels each other and then I just have the expectation with respect of P of F, okay? So this whole thing in here is uh, 
and it's a constant with respect of Q. And what we will have then is just this term over here. And this variance then, it, if I just put it as well as an in integral form, um, P of X square F square of X over Q of X dx, right? Because this Q like here, it will cancel. So I just end up with one. And remember like uh, we have this other restriction that the Q of X should be equal to one, right? Because it is a, it's a distribution. So if I compute my Lagrangian over here using those two things, because I want to minimize these, these variance, right? Then my Lagrangian of Q and Lambda, like we did before, is this integral over here, P square X, F square X, Q of X, DX, um, plus the Lambda, of the integral of q of x minus one, right? And I want to find the partial of L with respect of q to find the minimum one, right? And what is this? So this should be minus p square x f square x or q square x plus lambda equals zero. Now I can solve here uh, let me do it here. So uh, Q of X is equal to the square root of P square of X F square of X over lambda. Now I know that my P is positive, right? So this is P of X, but I don't know what F can be, right? Because it can be any function. So in general, this should be the absolute value of of these, right? And now uh, I have these over lambda, right? Now, what is lambda? I just know that these should integrate to one. So I know that this uh, square of P square of X F of square of X over lambda DX um, should be equal to one. So, uh, this lambda is equal to this uh, integral over here, right? Integral of p of x, f of x, dx. So it is just a normalization constant, right? So I can just call this my normalization constant and that's it. So this is my um, optimal function. This is my, uh, my, my, my proposal. So I want to take proposals of the, of the shape of my interest, uh, my distribution of interest times the absolute value of the weighting, of the weighting function that I'm interested in, okay? Um, and that's, that's it. Now, um, when you are working with unnormalized distributions, something interesting also appears because you, are going to, you want to compute this expected value of f, right? But this ends up as being the partitions uh, of P and Q over the integral of F of X of P tilde X, Q tilde X, right? So let's say like you don't, you don't want to, or you don't have them, the, the normalized version of these distributions over here, right? So what is this, right? This is approximately your Q over the CQ over the CP or one over S and this is your Monte Carlo estimator, right? Just the weight uh, f of x. Where this ws uh, tilde is nothing else but the um, weight using the your normalized distributions. So now the only thing that we don't know here is this ratio over here. So if we work it out, dcpcq is nothing else but the integral of p tilde x dx, right? That is my CP. And my CQ, if you remember, uh, it is the also the, the normalization constant, right? So my I define this Px as my 
um, distribution p times my cp, right? Because I am on normalizing it, so I, I need to multiply it to cancel the normalization function in, in here. So if I apply that fact over here, this is nothing else but qx over uh, qx, right? Because I can try to just uh, obtain the value of my uh, normalization constant. Okay, so now if I push this, I will have the integral of p tilde x, q tilde x times qx dx, right? But now again, what is this, right? So this is the expected value of this ratio over here. And we already know what the how to approximate this using Monte Carlo. So again, this is just just sampling again and just yeah, just keep sampling. So this is WS tilde. Now what we have here is my, my estimator is what? This sample over here, the W tilde S F says over this thing, right? Because I'm multiplying by the reciprocal here. So I have one S over the summation S, W, S, tilde here. So now I am just taking each of these and normalizing by the whole thing, right? So I can just use some W, S, these S cancel each other here. Um, some W, S, F, X, S where this WS is the normalized version with respect of all the weights. So what this is telling me is if you have uh, unnormalized distributions, use your, um, your approximation of, of adding the weight of the Fs, but instead of just doing a normal average, go and normalize your weights with respect of everything, right? All the weights for all the samples. And then do this weighted sum. And that, that will be your solution, okay? So that is the important sampling, a really nice and useful uh, tool that complements the rejection sampling, okay? So in the next part, we're going to talk some uh, advanced usages of these uh, sampling techniques, okay? See you then.